You see this guy right here? This is Bustio. He's the IGL of 100 Thieves Valorant team. And right before this moment, he posted this. If I lose today, I retire. I don't even know who I'm playing, to be honest. And he's about to lose. Time for Bustio to try to, to retake the site, and it's quick. Aftershock, wall up, Cryo trying to look for a pick, but it's MWZ that scores first. And now the wing and it's safe oh, oh, There's only two left alive against three. 100 Thieves are trying to hold it down. Damn, silly! Three are comes out with magic! Somehow, and get the upset against 100 Thieves! Do you like trash talk? Some people love it, some people hate it, but there's some form of it in every kind of competition, and the VCT is no different. Some of the earliest trash talk we ever saw in Valorant was from the original Sentinels roster. I read you. So fucking bad. It's a book. Dapper was always teabagging somebody. Oh, the last one. Oh, no, 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 no. And Zoms even went against the entire Brazilian region. FNS was always a big fan of it on Optic. Fucking flawless, my Yo, what I just did to Mako? This kid's retiring after this game. I'm 30, bro. And sometimes his teammates followed suit. Fucking joke. That's a joke. But they might have taken it a bit too far against Billy Billy Gaming. And do you have any words to say to Billy Billy as you face them for that rematch? You guys are going home, 100%. I guarantee, I promise you that. And eventually got a taste of their own medicine after that legendary upset. He's gonna get them all! Are you okay? Demon One gave his fair share of trash talk in 2023. <laughs> mm, honestly, I don't give a fuck what you guys say about me. You can call me whatever you want. But when you play as good as he did, it's kind of fair. We've even had a few moments this season where it got pretty heated on stage two. To up three off the back in such a yes! short space of time. Yes! Yo, Mondia! Yo, Mondia! Up to the anvil, and there is no hope, no chance in hell. They have gone home entirely. Paper X eliminating the Spanish favourites. But you can't talk about trash talk and disrespect without mentioning Valorant's king in that department, Bustio. A former Overwatch DPS main, Keldon Bustio Papello moved over to Valorant as soon as it was released. He went through a few different teams during 2021, but ended up on Evil Geniuses towards the end of the year. The team floated around the bottom of the tier 1 level for a while, peaking with an upset win over Optic, but didn't do much else. So when EG were one of the 10 Americas teams selected for the Valorant Partnership Program, many wondered if the players would be dropped in favour of a new roster, and those conversations included Bustio. Ultimately though, he stayed on the team as their in-game leader, and looked to prove his worth heading into the 2023 season. But that didn't happen straight away. They were knocked out early from VCT lock-in, and that losing streak continued into the regular season, where after 5 matches, EG sat at a 1-4 scoreline. They were practically down and out. But there was a glimmer of hope, and his name was Demon1. Shots better from DG. Oh my gosh! What was that? EG had subbed Demon into the roster for BCJ three weeks into the season. He started off decently well, but as the season continued, it became clear that he was no ordinary player. With robotic aim and a stone-cold demeanor, Demon1 completely changed the fate of this EG squad. They now sat at a 4-5 record to end the split. Much improved, but just not enough to qualify for the playoffs. At least, as long as 100 Thieves didn't choke against MIBR. Your turn, your turn, talk to Wait, wait, turn. they don't know, they don't know, they don't know. Shoot the fucking guy! That miracle upset sent EG into the playoffs, where their form just continued to improve, winning two matches and booking a ticket to Masters Tokyo. After three years of mediocre results, Bustio had finally made it to the international stage. EG were by no means a favourite coming into Tokyo. But they sure played like one. Team Liquid, Com also gone for another attempt to <laughs> no way in hell. They went on a four-game 2-0 streak to reach the upper final against Fnatic and eventually secured a second-place finish. For a team that was thought to be out of the entire season a few months prior, it was an incredible turnaround. Bustio's trash talk hadn't quite ramped up at this point, but it was clear he was a player who thrived on momentum and confidence, constantly standing up in his chair after one rounds and hyping his team up while doing it. Now he'd backed up that confidence with significant results, it grew and grew until we saw some of the spiciest trash talk in the scene. Because EG weren't the only team at Tokyo who went on a miracle run. Edward Gaming were the first ever Chinese team to make a decent run internationally, reaching 5th place off the back of Kang Kang's superstar performances. He garnered a huge fan base with his inhuman op skills and antics on stage, which gave Bustio the perfect opportunity to stir up some drama. China will never be better than NA, for one, in Valorant. Ooh. We will actually grind, we will make sure these Chinese teams will never be close to us. 
Only the Chinese. I think the Korean teams could do damage. I think any of the Asian teams could do damage, but China's three years behind, and I mean, if we play enough, they will not be, I don't think they'll be close to us. His comments became a huge talking point in the Valorant community, and despite Billy Billy supposedly proving him wrong by besting NRG twice in the group stage of champions, Bustio maintained his stance until this inevitable matchup, Edward Gaming versus Evil Geniuses. It's the matchup we've all waiting for evil geniuses takes on edg words have been exchanged by both camps strong words at that but now it's time to truly put up or shut up we know that kang kang's here but he's going to give away the game he notes the operator now you can see the pressure and smoggy plays ahead of it taking down three outstanding one and it's all on one but they're hunting him for all those words said, for all that bravado, he's on his knees, he's on his back, and EDG are winning map one. Steven one first on in, they try and clear through. Looks for the next target, oh it's gorgeous, Demon one! This guy is something else, and it ain't an ace, but it will be the 12th, as EG on the verge of picking up map two. Smoke goes in and a tap on it. Smoggy, you've got to win these fights. Com, drawn in, considering it. Tempted into it, Jorgo's got Smoggy. It's all down to Haodong in a 1v2 with seven bullets. And right now, EG, they've absolutely crushed EDG. The villains have had their day. They back up all the words. They back up all the talk. And they take it in a 2-1. His team sent EDG down into the lower bracket, and he even doubled down in the press conference You've after the match. quite a few thoughts on Chinese Valorant in the past. Would you say that your opinions have changed today after facing Edward Gaming? No. They are really good for a uh, Chinese team, but um, I don't know. They're not very good, to be honest. Kong Kong was a disappointment. Without understanding why Bustio does this, it can be really easy to hate him for it, which a lot of the community did for a while. But it's clear from the way Bustio talks about this trash talk that his intentions are never bad. All right, all right, okay. Uh, before we get into this, uh, Bustio, as the person that kind of started this rivalry, I'm going to give you the platform to talk your truth. You earned it. Um, to be honest, it feels amazing because um, I think they are a really good team, but uh, we ended up just destroying them. And um, I defended my honor and I did it for America. <laughs> And clearly his methods worked, as Evil Geniuses would go on to win the Valorant Champions title, trash talking and waving goodbye to everyone in their way. The combination of Bustio and Demon 1's unwavering confidence was too much for Paper X to stop in front of a packed home crowd during the grand final. Let's talk to the IGL. Bustio, my man, yeah. what a journey you have been through. Yeah. I, we've seen you really just shine in so many different roles. You try to be a playmaker for your team. You, you're the, uh, the in-game leader. You're the vocal leader. Uh, you were talking a lot of trash as well. Were you talking all that trash because we you were. felt confident yeah. that you'd hold this right here? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> and yeah, my teammates are some of the best players in the world. They're some of my greatest friends. I love them to death. I wouldn't rather, I wouldn't rather win it with anyone else. This has been the year of a lifetime, and I'm just so thankful for everyone, the fans, my friends, family. Thank you guys so much for supporting us. We wouldn't be here without you guys. And now EG had literally won the world championship, there was nothing anybody could say to them. I like showboating, I love shit talking. I think a lot of fans like it, and I think it does get into the enemy's head, which is the main reason I do it. I think my teammates like it. A lot of them are reserved people. I think them being able to see that really lights a fire, makes them happy, makes them smile. The teammates he's talking about there aren't actually his fellow champs winners on EG, but rather his new teammates for 2024 on 100 Thieves. That interview was done after 100 Thieves beat Cloud9 in the regular season, kickstarting a great run of form for the team. And in that match was the classic round where Bustio's mouse died. And of course, he had some words for C9 after winning it. My mouse died. Yeah, dude, f me. It did not charge for some reason. Dogging, dogging. I, I can't use my mouse this round. Listen, baby truck, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay yeah. I'm ready. Wait, wait for the orb, Boosie. I'll, 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 I'll tell you when to go okay, I'm gonna jump, so I'm jump gonna... around. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait, wait, wait for the orb. Can okay, we... wait, wait for the orb. Wait, 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 <laughs> if Bustio on EG was flamboyant, it was nothing compared to his presence on 100 Thieves. 
The season prior, they were known as a team with no energy and no life, something that Bustio saw as a mission to revitalize when he joined the squad, constantly standing up after rounds, taunting the enemy team, trash-talking them from across the stage. It was all helping to fire his teammates up, and it worked too, as they carried that momentum to win the America's Stage 1 trophy and qualify to Masters Shanghai. That entire run was marked with hilariously brash comments like this one, Okay, energy, dude. By the way, FNS, so I just want to say this mid mid map. Uh, and I forgot if it was after map one or before we started. Mm. I said, chat, you were in nothing without FNS. <laughs> he did say that in all chat. I just want to get that out there real quick. Yeah. <laughs> said, you are nothing without yeah, FNS. Yeah, you are actually brutal. And a strange trend of calling every team and player he faced pigs. It didn't matter who you were. If you were playing 100 Thieves, you would be called a pig by Bustio. This became so much of a meme that by the time they'd got to Shanghai, he actually brought a tiny pig plushie on stage against Foot. I mean, just watch this. So things like that. Those two kills from EU are absolutely nuts. He has been so good. Yo, 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 which one is it? Which one? Who is that? Oh my. <laughs> but the great thing about Bustio's banter is that he's more than ready to take it himself, tweeting, Who knew that I was the real pig after losing to Gen G at Shanghai? His Twitter feed is a goldmine of tweets towards his opponents like this one, and jokes about his own play too. But still, there's nothing better than seeing a huge trash talker lose emphatically, and when Bustio barely saved himself from dropping a zero kill map against Heretics and was eliminated from Master Shanghai, all of the EG haters in 2023 definitely felt slightly vindicated. And so that brings us back to this tweet. Attached is a picture of an old Furia team, the new iteration of which was 100 Thieves opponent for their first match of Split 2. 100 Thieves, coming off a great run in Stage 1 and a 4th place finish internationally, up against Furia who were winless this season and seemingly out of team spirit. It was unlosable for 100 Thieves. Except, it wasn't. We need three more kills and a defuse now for Furia to win their map. And WCR does have this glass cannon once again. And 100 Thieves knows this, they don't want to swing out, but there is that mass utility coming out from Furia. The wall to move forward to, Nano Swords for the it. back. The utility is beautiful. Up drop from Cryo, draws back down. Cryo but we again. do have Shanji sticking onto that spike. It's more than halfway. No more Wait a minute. Wait a minute. For Fudio to try to, to, to retake the site, and it's quick. Aftershock, wall up, Cryo trying to glip for a pick, but it's MWZO that scores first. And now the wing man saves oh. the G. Here's only two left alive against three. 100 Thieves are trying to hold it down. Damn, silly! Furia comes out with magic somehow and get the upset against 100 Thieves. Of course, Bustio didn't actually retire after that match, and it's become another moment in Bustio's long history of trash talk in the VCT. He's kept doing it since, and will continue to keep doing it, because that's just the kind of player he is. Love him or hate him, you'll be watching. Bustio, do you have any final words? Energy. <laughs> I can't use that, Bustio. <laughs> oh, um, energy if you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe. It's completely free and I've got some really cool videos in the works. If you want to support me more directly, then you can also sign up to my Patreon in the description and get a shout out at the end of these videos. But with that said and done, I've been Commend. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.